Service number 38731, AAC-1, A-Aliyu. Parade commander, parade commander of the Nigerian Coastal Service, Tinkang Island Port. The area controller must have parade Pomo. 465 officers ready for your inspection, sir. Front ramp. Five will move in the order. In such a step. Five the center. Quick. done so well and I want to commend all of you that in the last two months and 11 days that I've been here you've not let me down I want to say that I am also not going to let you down it's not been a very easy one just recently last week I issued a port order requiring that you come to work by exactly 8 o'clock 
and close by 6 p.m. by 6 p.m. in the evening. And just before the weekend, I extended that requirement to include coming to work effectively Saturdays and Sundays. And all of you graciously honored that, even at your own convenience. Again, I must thank you and thank the leadership and the management who have graciously supported me in achieving that. Let me say that the effort we are putting in will not only help you in your future lifestyles as you retire. Once we embrace this lifestyle of not turning our weekends into purely all one day weekends, I assure you that when you retire, you will also have reasons to survive beyond customs. It is something I want you to embrace for the sake of our nation. If you look around following the two days of strike in the port by NLC, you can see that we have had the resurgence of trucks lining up the port corridor. It is for that reason that we have to walk around the clock to ensure that we don't go back to the old bad days of 2017 to 2020 when the port access corridor was always congested and therefore affecting trade and service delivery. Let me state that the decision yesterday that we took with Nigerian Ports Authority and the port managers of TICT, Five Star and Ports and Cargo, to effectively start 24 hours operation in line with some of the decisions reached with the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, who directed that we must achieve 48 hours cargo clearance and 24 hours operation in the port. Yes, we are already achieving 24 hours port operation in the port at the ship side, but we also have to achieve the same thing on cargo delivery through the gate. We must also play the same rules that apply to everybody. You are all aware that Nigeria is a major player in the West and Central African World Customs Organization, which currently we are the chairman. We cannot, as leaders in the sub-region, afford to fail the rest of the society. We are also members of the World Trade Organization that are encouraging trade facilitation agreement, and therefore it behoves on us to also abide ourselves with the 12 principles of TFA. Again, you cannot be preaching it on paper and you are not practicalizing it. Let me state that this has come to stay. For those of us that are going to suffer the inconvenience, it's not going to last forever. And remember, the more we collect revenue, the more our salary is increased. Let me state that one of the things that you are looking for in life is survival, the mass law. Maslow's law says that the first thing in life is for you to survive. But while seeking to survive, you must also be healthy. I'm aware that by nature of our job, we're always on the move and on the go. And that is why management decided that we have to have this pitch where we, are, where we train every Thursday. Let me state that it is now compulsory that on Thursdays, wherever you find yourself, you must participate in exercise. It is compulsory. We are all aware when the Contra General of Customs led entire management and the rest of us to have the health work in Abuja. We work from the old custom headquarters to the new custom headquarters in Maitama. However, it is compulsory that those of you in CPC and within, including those in Five Star, those in Post and Cargo, and some of you in TICT, will come here every Thursday to come and participate in the exercise. Those of you that stay at TICT, if you wish to participate at the playground, at the scanning site, you can also conduct yours there. For those at the bonded terminals, please encourage that at the bonded terminals. Once in a while, I will also join you in your terminals. In addition to that, permit me to invite our resident doctors to come and address us briefly on the health requirements that are expected of you. Recently, we lost one of our officers as a result of hepatitis B virus, which is unfortunate. And then the officer is very committed, dedicated to his duty. Very young officer. We lost him as a result of this hepatitis B virus. It's unfortunate. But let's try and check ourselves, please. What is this hepatitis? Hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. Now, Let's know what is that liver that we are talking about. I know all of us, we know liver. Liver 
it is one of the most important organ in our body, which situated in abdominal cavity, upper abdominal cavity, to the our more to the right. Beneath it, there is diaphragm. Then below it, there is intestine, right kidney, and stomach. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis, most of the cause of the hepatitis as a result of viral infection. That by we have different types of viral infection. We have we have five types of viral infection. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D, and hepatitis E. Hepatitis A and E it transmitted through pico oral. When you say through pico oral, that is from the stool to the oral cavity. Then hepatitis B, C and D it transmitted through infected blood, saliva, and cement. What is the common sign and symptoms of this very disease? Mostly it's asymptomatic, but we have some, they normally manifest some signs and symptoms. One of it, there is fever, nausea, vomiting, partic, myalgia, abdominal pains, abdominal pains, hepatomegaly, and splenomegaly which is very important to not discount and sign some symptoms, so that at least we'll help ourselves. Immediately, when you started seeing that sign and symptoms, meat is has started manifest, it is has a coming complication on that liver. What is the prevention factors? Prevention, one, we need to wash our hands very well, at least frequently, especially after bowel movement. Most of us, we don't have the habit of washing our hands. Sometimes after we went to store it, we after defecating, we just use tissue paper without washing our hands. Please, let's try and wash our hands frequently. Then, thorough washing our hands is very, very important for us to wash our hands regularly. We shake many people in a day, and then without washing their hands, we continue eating something. We see granite, we see apple, we see them, we continue eating it without washing our hands, which is cause more dangerous to our health. Controller, take a island boat. Mr. B. A. Nandi. Hit, hit, hit. 